A couple years ago, I posted a video called Everything Wrong with The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. I made that video when the pack first came out, and as you can probably tell, my initial review and my first thoughts on this one were not very good. Realm of Magic came out right in the middle of what I would kind of describe as The Sims 4's flop era. In less than a year, we got Get Famous, Strangerville, Island Living, Mosquito Stuff, and then Realm of Magic in that order. And famously, I'm really not a fan of a lot of those packs. A lot of that doesn't really have to do with the the gameplay necessarily, but more so to do with the world. With the exception of Island Living, which is kind of the opposite, it's got a great world, but like weirdly kind of no gameplay. But Del Sol Valley, Strangerville, and Glimmerbrook are, in my opinion, some of the worst worlds in The Sims 4. It's not even really the fault of the world. Like, Glimmerbrook is actually one of my favorites because the environment is so beautiful. But because this pack was made in The Sims 4's flop era, the builds are horrendous. Like, looking at the builds that came in this pack and the lots that we got with it, it, it makes me actually angry. And because I was so mad about this and like so disappointed in what seemed like a serious lack of effort that went into making the world, it made it really hard for me to want to play with this pack, especially after it first came out. So today I want to give Realm of Magic a second chance. I'm gonna put some serious effort into playing it again, this time a few years later, and we'll see if it holds up at all after my like initial rage has calmed down. So I made this sim called Sterling Silver. They're a spellcaster, obviously. They've got like the spellcaster aspiration. And I'm really proud of how their outfits turned out. I feel like Sterling is actually really cool. So now that I've got a sim I'm excited to play with and a world that I'm not so excited to play in, we'll see how we feel after we give it a solid second chance. Now, for starters, the starter home that comes in this world is kind of weird. Um, I don't really understand why the roof looks like this. It's fine though. It could be worse. It could be better. This is not the worst lot that came in the pack. Even these other three, I wouldn't say are the worst ones in the world. I'm gonna start start at the bar. It's fine. It's not great. There's a couple things that I don't love. Like, I don't really understand a few of these choices furnishing-wise, like the combination of these bar counters and stuff. The real problem with this one is the fact that they forgot to paint a roof. This is the default roof texture. All of the other roofs are this texture. For some reason, they, they just didn't paint one of them. I can't imagine this being on purpose, especially considering it's like the default one. So it just seems lazy to me. This is one of the pre-made family's houses. Aside from me thinking it's kind of ugly, because I'll admit that's a personal opinion. It's also missing a door in the back. There's a staircase that goes to nowhere. So, like, there obviously was meant to be a door from the backyard into the kitchen. There just isn't one. This is kind of what I mean by, like, lazy and bad builds, because I can almost forgive me not liking how they look, but when there's things that impact function, like the missing toilets in Del Sol Valley, or, like, the missing door in the back, well, how does that even happen? This one's not even broken. It's just ugly. This one, honestly, might be my least favorite house house in the whole game. I don't even want to sit here and like dwell on it. I just, um, wow, you know? This is also kind of a weird thing to pick on, but like why is the toilet paper there? If your sim was sitting here, they'd have to reach up like this to get it. Why? The absolute most disappointing part of this whole pack, and the main reason why I didn't like it and didn't want to play with it, is the magic realm. So there's kind of this really cool feature where your sim can travel to this special realm where like only the spellcasters can go. And like Glimmerbrook, the world itself, like the environment around it is really cool but the lot that they bring you to is the ugliest thing I have ever seen in The Sims. The last one's my least favorite house. This is my least favorite community lot. This is even worse than the museum in Del Sol Valley. I just don't understand why they did this, and it's so bad that it makes me not want to come here. Like, it makes it hard for me to play here on this lot. And beyond it being kind of ugly, because they did this thing where they have, like, open walls instead of doorways, the lighting is weird on the inside because the game thinks this is outdoors, and when the game thinks think something is outdoors, the lighting is kind of bugged. So no matter what time of day, it's like really gray and dark all over in the entire interior of this building. So I just don't want to play here without replacing this lot off the gallery. And part of why I was so angry when this first came out is because at the time, console players didn't have a gallery. So if you were playing on console, you couldn't just like download a different lot to fix it. You had to either rebuild it yourself or like just deal with it. And I felt bad about that. It just sucks that like this is what they were shipping and what they were selling to you. I'm getting like angry all over again, but I'm I'm gonna try, sincerely try, to play in this lot. My sim is already a spellcaster, so we can start like trying to learn spells and working through the aspiration. The spellcasters actually have a lot of really cool stuff, like gameplay-wise. We have like this cool needs panel, but more importantly, we have this entire skill tree, so you can unlock spellcaster perks, and there's also a whole spell book, and you can learn all of these different spells, and you can do stuff like fix things, set sims on fire. I mean, there's a lot of really cool features of the pack, and I feel like I kind of missed out 
out on it because I was so enraged by the lots. Also, look at this. I was not kidding when I said this world is amazing. Like the secret lot up here, you can kind of travel to these different areas and these are little stalls so you can buy like brooms, you can buy wands. They've got ghosts operating the stalls. I'm not going to Star Wars. Wait, that's a whole other video. Ooh, maybe I'll buy a bone wand and a familiar orb of the raven. Set bonus preferred wand. Always use wand. Find familiar. Look, see, look, I've got a familiar. I might also try and befriend some of these sims. These people are also spellcasters, so I could probably benefit from knowing them. I'm gonna introduce myself to the sages here and see if they can teach me some things. One thing that I do really like about this pack is the like completionist aspect of trying to learn everything. Sterling has been taught a new potion recipe and has been given a sample. One potion of good fortune has been added to their inventory. And I discovered a new spell, Scrubberoo. <laughs> I can use that to make something or someone squeaky clean. I'm making Sterling do some magic practice too to see if we can like level this up and get some talent points. And then maybe later I'll work on brewing some potions. I should also try to meet everybody else. Like I need to meet Morgan Ember and Elphaba as well. Do you want to take a selfie so we can be best friends? It's not cheating if it's in the game. Do you want to teach me things now? Come back, don't leave, don't leave. Ooh, we've been taught a new potion recipe for a potion of nausea. And we also learned Inferniate, that's what I wanted. Instantly incinerate your target with the power of fire. Oh my God, do it. You know, maybe I should play with Realm of Magic more because <laughs> that makes me feel so powerful. Oh, don't run through it. Okay, probably extinguish that. We don't need to like burn the place down, although I would like to. We also leveled up so we can get something with our talent point. So you can buy some things like this to get more foraging stuff for potion making. I might get this blender arm one so my potion crafting speed is increased. I got Elphaba to give me a potion of plentiful needs, so I don't even think I need to go home tonight. I can just stay here and keep working on skills. I found a tome of good fortune. Okay, I already knew that one. That's actually so rude. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Asleep. Why? You don't need to nap. You're fine. Sorry, but we came here to study, so you need to be up all night working on this. Oh my god. I was gonna place a bed. I forgot that the lot is not editable. Obviously, you can edit it with cheats, but like, think about how many Sims players don't know about that. Like, you wouldn't even be able to get a new lot off the gallery because you wouldn't know that you can type bb.enable free build and then build anywhere. I need to stop. The lot thing really, really bothers me, as you can probably tell. I don't even know if I'm gonna want to sleep yet. I feel like my needs are aren't bad enough to need to use the potion, but maybe I will just drink it. There you go, my first potion. And now all my needs are fixed. For that, all you need is an apple. It's like actually not hard to make. You don't even really need to forage for apples. Like you can just buy a seed pack. When you buy starter fruits, it just comes with apples. I've got three and all I had to do was buy them. Maybe I'll make Sterling brew a few more of these potions then. We're never gonna sleep again. And I got four. I forgot that you get so many of them. It feels like I'm cheating. Like that's almost too easy. We became a spellcasting acolyte as well. Your prowess in the magical arts is gaining recognition. A magical care package is sent to every acolyte containing some everyday essentials for an up-and-coming spellcaster. Be sure to check your mailbox. That means I have to go home. I guess I said I hated this lot, so maybe it's a good excuse to get away. Okay, I now have 12 of those potions. I can also ask the people to talk to me again, so I'm gonna try and learn some more potions. Perk purging. Ooh. Allows the spellcaster to choose different perks. Speaking of perks. I think I might try and buy these moats ones. Sim can now always see magical moats and collect them. Moats can be consumed for experience and minor random motive boosts. Oh my god, wow, look at how many of them there are. Should we just go around and collect them? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I've ever used this perk. It's like almost kind of embarrassing. Absorb moat. I'm just gonna absorb them all. I don't really know what's gonna happen to me with this. Should I try and duel somebody? I'm probably not good enough for that yet, but what's the harm? Challenge to magic duel. Friendly duel. I feel as though I probably shouldn't do anything dangerous. <laughs> just a friendly little duel with my little friend. They're gonna go all the way up to these dueling grounds up here for it. Okay, please don't hurt yourself. Oh, great. Yeah, this is actually not good for me. Okay, I think I lost. <laughs> You did terrible. Do you want to duel again? I'm, oh, nope. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Never mind. I didn't want to duel. I'm good. I'm gonna do some collecting of some of these plants up here. Look at how beautiful this part is. It just is such a shame that the lot looks like that because this area is so cool. Alluring aura. Ooh. Makes those around the drinker more receptive to romantic conversation. They want to cast a spell on another sim. Can I light you on fire? <gasps> really? That feels wrong. That was kind of fun. I'm gonna do 
it again. Oh, I don't think that one worked. Oh, no, it did. Don't worry. False alarm. Sorry. Potion of the nimble mind. Increase the speed my sims gain skills. I don't even have to work on this. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm learning how to make them, but like, it's really easy when they just like give you one. Also, I just learned necro call. Summon the dead from their final resting place. Okay. Oh, and I learned how to repair things. See, the practical magic stuff is so useful. Obviously, it's fun to like light people on fire, but it's also really nice to have things I can just use at home. Forced friendship, also useful. Oh, you're eating. Well, I was gonna give you one of your potions again, but if you really want to cook something, you can cook something. That's fine. You made your first meal. Good job, Sterling. I'm so close to leveling up. Can you teach me? There we go. Spellcaster adept. Do any of these people look weak to you? Like, do you think I could duel this one? <laughs> Sterling wants to win three duels, and I would really like to do that. I'm gonna duel for knowledge. See if we can learn some spells. Oh, I've been awake for 24 hours. <laughs> it's a good thing I got potions. <gasps> oh, I did win. Oh, I want a spell. Keep your plants healthy and bug free. I'm gonna duel that person again. <laughs> I feel like if I if I know I can beat them, I should just keep it up. Uh-oh, never mind. I got beat. Okay, yikes. One more try? I feel like this dueling is like really dramatic. Oh no. Wait. Oh, we did win. transport late. Wait, move instantly to another location regardless of distance? No, can I teleport? Oh, that's good. Okay, wait, pause. I'm gonna try and duel this person one more time. I won and I got minion eyes? Control another sim's mind and bend them to your will. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, oops. I forgot about this. Sorry. <laughs> Oops, wait, 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 let me just, hold on. I'm gonna drink my little needs potion. I'm fixed, I'm fixed. We're in regular range, everything's fine. Can I still minionize you? Oh my God, I can make you make me food, clean or sleep? Make me food. Huh, are you gonna do it? I don't know. I might have broke her. <laughs> I'm gonna go try and teleport quickly. Magic spells transportalate. Yeah? Oh, wow. Oh, that was easy. Is there a shower here? Oh, there is. Why are you all in the bathroom together? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Magical overload from energy overcharge. Okay. Is now a bad time for me to read that? Oh, I'm not high enough spellcaster rank to read it. Oh, well. I'm gonna go home. It gave me some stuff in the mail. I got a broom and some apples. Okay, that's actually really good. <laughs> I'm gonna try and sleep off my magic problems. Always use brooms. Oh look, it's Simeon. What are you doing here? Well, I'm going back to the magic realm. I have learned so many of the potions. I haven't done a lot of the stuff to like actually brew most of them. Like you need to do a lot of growing and collecting. You need like emerald, goldfish. Like you need a lot of stuff to make these. I'm just finding it fun trying to complete the spell book. Like this is kind of what's exciting to me is trying to learn all these these things. Do you think I could level up just by like lighting things on fire? Cause I'm, I'm kind of wanting to try. Oh my God. Well, are you gonna fix it? Or are you just gonna stand there? Hello? Okay, good. I'm trying to do some more dueling in hopes I can learn some more spells. <gasps> Don't you dare lose. Okay, good. Zip zap. Harness electrical energy and give something a jolt. Oh no, that's too easy. Can I really do that? I can electrocute people? Oh, well, apparently not, because you just flew away. Do you want to duel? If I win this, I can finish the aspiration. <gasps> Yay! What did I get? Create a tasty meal out of thin air? Oh, uh-oh. Yikes. Can I die from that? <laughs> Do I need to be worried? <laughs> Maybe. Infatuate. Convince two sims to get romantic with each other? Oh my god. I can make them like date anybody? Try this sim. <gasps> oh my god. It works. <laughs> well, of course it works, but I'm actually really impressed by how easy that was. <gasps> Sterling has learned every possible potion they could, but now experimenting can get us ingredients. I can also turn one small object into many. Okay, so I've learned every single potion there is to know. I've also learned a lot of the spells, like more than half of them. And we're now a spellcaster master? You know, I didn't think I'd be saying this, but I kind of like Realm of Magic. The gameplay in this pack is actually like genuinely really fun. It's a real shame the world is like this because I feel like this pack actually has potential to be like one of the better ones. They always do a good job with occult sims in this game, I guess with the exception of mermaids. Oh, familiar orb of the glow frog. Slippery. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this alone, I've never seen that. This alone has like completely changed my perspective of this pack. I'm kind of trying to collect my thoughts on this because after revisiting this pack, I still cannot let go of how disappointing this world is. Like that is the worst part of the pack by far. But the gameplay is really fun. Like I've had a really good time playing with this sim. Obviously I was just focusing on like learning everything. I don't usually play with occult sims in my like regular gameplay, but doing this and realizing how useful it is 
is makes me kind of want to try. I need a sim that can just like light stuff on fire for me when I need them to. And I guess like fix stuff, but but mostly just the fire. I guess when I compare this pack to other packs, I'm not gonna like recommend that you don't buy it. I do think that werewolves is a better occult pack than this one. Vampires is fun too, but it suffers from some similar world issues. The werewolf pack is just good all around. So if you're gonna pick just one, I'd pick that one. But this certainly isn't the worst game pack. And suddenly I've got a serious urge to build spellcaster houses, so stay tuned for that. I'm glad that I did this though, and I think I might go back and revisit a bunch of the older packs. I had this thought that maybe I should go back and play all of the expansion packs again in order, because things that I liked in like 2015 probably maybe don't hold up as much now in 2023. Or maybe there's things in the packs that I've forgotten about, so I like the idea of going back and trying again. Let me know in the comments if you like that idea, and I think on that note I'm gonna end this video right here. I've got Sterling on the gallery if you want to play with them, by the way. Sterling and their friend Wanda have like a like a bowling thing going on. They're on a bowling team. I, I didn't really mention that in today's video, but that is the backstory. They've got a cat called Cosmo as well. But I swear I'll stop talking now and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. The story is that Cosmo also used to be a sim, but then got turned into a cat in a tragic spellcasting accident and has been a cat ever since.